How to use the ramp action function on the F4T touchscreen controller. The F4T can ramp to a set point without having to enter a profile. This is useful if you want the temperature to follow a fixed rate of change or ramp instead of going as fast as the chamber can physically heat or cool. The ramp settings are in the loop screen. The term loop refers to feedback loop, which is the system that meshes the actual chamber temperature and feeds it back to control the temperature. Pressing anywhere within the outline temperature box will provide access to the temperature loop screen. Once you are in the loop screen, scroll to the bottom to find the ramp action button. There are separate settings for the temperature loop and the humidity loop in a humidity chamber. However, we do not recommend entering a humidity ramp. Humidity control is very laggy by nature and its ability to follow a ramp will likely be unpredictable. You have several options for ramp action. Off. In this mode, the controller makes immediate changes to the set point so the chamber will heat or cool as fast as physically possible. This is normally how the controller is used. Startup. In this mode, each time the controller is powered up, it will ramp the set point from the current temperature value. At all other times, the set point will change immediately. Set point. When the controller is initially turned on, the set point immediately resumes its last value, but the ramp is controlled each time the set point is changed. Both. In this mode, the controller ramps the set point each time it is powered up or the set point is changed. Once you select a ramp action other than off, you will be able to select the ramp scale and ramp rate. You may need to scroll further down to see these parameters. In ramp scale, you will be able to change the time units to minutes or hours. So, if you wanted the ramp to be 3 degrees C per minute, you would set the ramp scale to minutes. In ramp rate, you will be able to enter the numeric value for the ramp. So, if you wanted the ramp to be 3 degrees C per minute, you would set the ramp scale to minutes and the ramp rate to 3. If the controller was configured to display degrees F, entering 3 would be understood as 3 degrees F. Once you configure the controller for a ramp rate, the home screen will change its appearance. Target set point is the temperature you've entered, and it's the end temperature the chamber will reach. On models that show two process parameters at once, like temperature and humidity, the target set point area will be labeled TSP. Current set point is the instantaneous value that the ramp is trying to achieve. On models that show two process parameters at once, like temperature and humidity, the current set point area will be labeled CSP. Once you enter a ramp rate, the controller will modulate the heating and or cooling power as required to follow the current set point, provided the actual ramp rate is physically achievable. I'm going to set the set point to 40 degrees C. In this example, you can see the process value or temperature inside the chamber is following the current set point and modulating the heating power to control the rate of heating. There may be a slight lag between the current set point and process value, but the process value will be following the desired ramp time as long as the heating or cooling power is indicated as less than 100%. You can follow the progress of the ramp by viewing the trending screen. In this example, I already set the trending screen to display a lower value of 25 degrees and an upper scale of 45 degrees and a time scale of 5 minutes so we can easily see the ramp. And here you can see that the ramp rate and set point are following each other. So now you know how to enter a ramp without having to enter a profile. If you have any other questions, visit testequity.com contact and we will be happy to assist you. To see the complete line of test equity chambers, visit testequity.com chambers. Thank you.